Will two world champions and their families survive the horror of the Russo-Ukrainian war? In northeastern Ukraine, world heavyweight champion Oleksandr Yuzik lives with his wife and family in a secure underground bunker in the village of Shipintsi, located in the Chernivtsi district of Chernivtsi Ren, in the Chernivtsi Oblast province, about 330 miles driving distance southwest of Kiev, under siege during the Russo-Ukrainian war, and about 19 miles northwest of the provincial capital Chernivtsi. Shipintsi is about 30 miles from Ukraine's border with Romania, about 40 miles from Ukraine's border with Moldova, and about 50 miles from the Romanian city of Sasiva, located on the left bank of the Prut River, amid hills covered with farms and forests, in the region commonly known as the Dniester Hills. Hundreds of innocent civilians, including three children, were killed. Yuzik stated on Instagram, Good morning everyone. My name is Alexander Yuzik. I want to talk to the Russian people and ask about whether we consider ourselves brothers, which is orthodox. Don't let your children go to our country, don't fight with us. Also, I conveyed this to President Vladimir Putin. You can stop this war. Please sit down and negotiate with us without any claims. Our children, wives and grandparents, hiding in the basement and designated safe area. We are here in our own country. We can't do it, survive at all costs any other way. We defend, our homeland. Stop it. Stop this war. As the military and civilian casualty toll continues, with former world heavyweight champions Vitoli and Vladimir Klitschko fighting for their lives on the front lines of the Kiev battle zone, Yuslov Dynamo. Amasov fought for the Belator Welterweight World Championship against then world champion Douglas Lim at the Belator 260 on June 11, 2021. He won the fight by unanimous decision by defeating Lima in all five rounds to become the new Bellator welterweight world champion. Amasov is scheduled to defend his first title against Michael Page on 13 May 2022 at London's Bellator. The fight and defending the world title is in jeopardy, as Amasov and his family are now trapped with the Klitschko brothers in the midst of the storm of war. Yet another world champion can die as a civilian or a soldier, living in his country. This is a war that is still not understood, because the West was shocked. In the coming days, with every hour that passes, not only Oleksandr Yuzik, Vitoli Klitschko and Vladimir Klitschko, but also Yuslov Amasov could also die on the front lines of war, or as civilian victims of indiscriminate attacks. Where are the great champions past and present? Are they alive? Are their families still alive? Will the rest of the world negotiate a ceasefire and attempt to resolve the land conflict dispute between the Russian Federation and Ukraine in Luhansk and Donetsk, in which 14,000 innocent people have died in two-sided fighting, or will thousands more, tens of thousands? More, hundreds of thousands more, and even millions of people died in this 2022 conflict. This is a war that has spiraled out of control at a time when the world is out of control. One can only hope the madness will stop, especially when human life is affected. The leading sports figures on the front line simply highlight how unpredictable the situation is, and wonder how many lives will be lost on both sides, and who will live to see tomorrow. War brings a sorrow. The war has created a new form of boxing and MMA ring, a ring with a ring strap for the fighters on the front line, soon to meet their end who may be trapped in a hopeless corner of tomorrow, if the blood and siege battles reach a bloody conclusion. Human life is indeed meaningful, but even in a technologically advanced world like ours, some of the superpowers do not understand the message. Greetings, sports. Always, keep sportsmanship. Greetings and greetings, from Boxing 2022. And another shot, from the right flank once again, in the final of the Muhammad Ali 